did you know about the giraffe in Monsters, Inc.? So in Boo's room, there's this height chart. There it is, and that's the giraffe. That's it right there. All right, end of video. Bye. No, wait, there's more. Monsters, Inc. was one of the very first DVDs I ever got, and it's packed with extras. But that's okay, because the early days of DVDs were rough. Looks and sounds like you're at the movies, but you can experience it at home. Special features were sometimes just play the movie or don't. But then movies went over the top with how much swooshy graphics they threw in. It's like, whoa, whoa, this is crazy. It's like, I just want to play the film. Oh, come on. I just want to watch Shrek. And then there's the unskippable ads. Anyway, on a totally unrelated note, this video sponsor is Raid Shadow Legends. You've heard of it, but what is it? It's a free-to-play RPG for mobile devices and PCs too. With crossplay, a free RPG on PC, OMG BBQ. You can gain XP, play PvP, a story that has full VO. If you love acronyms, this is the game for you. I sure do love acronyms, but I want Hex Weaver. Just wait, Timmy. Daddy's still talking. Season one of the Battle Pass event has just started with extra rewards and daily challenges, so it's the perfect time to pick up and play. In fact, if you click the link in the description below, all new players will get 100k silver right off the bat. As well as a free champion, Hexweaver. <gasps> That's everything I've ever wanted! You'll find your extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. So download and play Raid Shadow Legends today. So on the Monster Zing DVD, tucked away, there's a section for in jokes, aka the Easter eggs. And it's like, oh, okay, I mean, yeah, oh, it's the Pizza Planet truck, who'd have known? But it ends with this fun fact The giraffe on the wall in Boo's room is seen following Sully and Mike to work. What? That? two-dimensional thing moves like a parappa the rapper boy what what am i the only one freaked out by this that's creepy right i recently tried to google this and i can't find any mention of this anywhere it's like just declared right here on the dvd and then everyone's collective selective memory kicked in and we all repressed it no that, that no that don't make sense it's a child's height chart you are a giraffe there's like a lot going on in this movie why would they animate the giraffe moving just to upset me Personally, the job done. All right, so let's look at another scene. This is Sully's goodbye to Boo, and it's like, oh, this is sad. And look, yep, there's the giraffe. There he is. Hello, giraffe. Don't wave back. And there's Sully saying goodbye to Boo. Kitty's got to go. Very sad. And where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? No, 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 no. It's meant to be behind him. This isn't a mistake that just happens. They built the room with all the props in place. In fact, they would have had to have intentionally moved it out the way. So why is it gone? And then, and then Sally walks to the door and he turns back and, oh, look, he's back. Oh, I can't move. I can't move. The giraffe can't move. Let's look at this in-joke thing again. So it's this scene where Mike and Sully enter Monsters, Inc. for the first time in the movie. And zoom it in. My God. I can't see a thing. I can't see a thing. This is this is really bad quality. This is like, what, 720? 480? 2? This is just a mess of pixels. What am I meant to do with this? So I got the Blu-ray. And let's look at this scene again. And there's definitely something there. But it's still too blurry. This Blu-ray is trash. Fine. So I got the 4K Ultra HD version. And ah, my display only goes up to 1080. I just have no way to make this screen any bigger. So I got a cinema. Oh my god, I actually did. So after some technical setup, I was finally able to get this scene into the biggest possible size. This was my best chance to find it. Oh, he's there! He's there! But the question now is why? Why is the giraffe here? Is it a secret monster or something? I actually think I have an explanation for this. Sometimes while animators are working on their shots, we have dailies. It's essentially, it's like the animators provide the directors and the producers daily updates on here's where we're at. And, and sometimes they sneak in little gag, little joke. A children's movie. And so for the goodbye boo scene, here's this. And, oh, look who's come back in. Hello, giraffe. Oh, you scab. You get back here. No, don't touch me. So this is my theory. During the goodbye boo scene, they realize if the giraffe is still behind Sully when Sully walks away, it's going to be really eye-catching and distracting. So they moved him out the way. Then in the daily, the animator, who had to remove the giraffe, had a bit of a giraffe. <laughs> and animated it coming back into the room again. And because they rigged the giraffe, they thought, ah, let's just chuck him into the crowd shot. No one would know. Unless they looked at the DVD extras. So there you go. That's my expose on the giraffe from Monsters, Inc. 
Ah, or jump scare, or how predictable. So help me! So help me! And cut! Okay, so this video took longer to make than planned. It started off as such just a small little dig into this easter egg, but when I found out more and had to get bigger with the footage thing, it just became a madder project in the process. So big thanks to Cineworld who hooked me up with that cinema screen, and if you like what I do and want to support me, then please consider doing so on Patreon.